Group is a unique New Zealand company. It owns New Zealand patent and technology to develop the health industry in New Zealand and China. I have been in New Zealand for 26 years. During this time, I worked at Landcare Research Institute, Kloppen Food Research Institute, and uh, Food Nutrition and Human, Human Health Reddit Research Institute in Meiji University. And uh, I'm working for two research centers. One is Tongji University, one is Meiji University. I feel very pleased to have got support from governments and uh, universities because all the policy is support from government and the push our alpha group keep going. We have three main business sections. The first one, um, we raise horses ourselves. We breed horses and also we purchase and export horses back to China. Our president and chairman, Mr. Lin Lang, has been to many countries before he made the final decision to expand his business over here in New Zealand. Mr. Lang feels that's his job to, to do something towards the racing industry here in New Zealand because he loves this whole country, he loves the people here. So he invests a lot of money into the breeding industry and also in the racing industry by sponsoring races. And also he likes to promote the Kiwi horses back in China, just trying to open up the whole Chinese market towards the New Zealand breeders. And also we would like to invest some more money into the tourism industry here to combine the tourism industry with the thoroughbred racing industry. So he would like to be the bridge between China and New Zealand and make a difference. When the Right Honourable John Key was first elected Prime Minister in November 2008, the Free Trade Agreement with China had just come into force and the world faced an unknown threat of the global financial crisis. From the outset, Mr Key showed a strong commitment to maximising the possible benefits that an agreement with the world's largest nation could bring to an export-dependent nation such as ours. In his eight years as Prime Minister, Mr Key worked hard to help open doors in China for New Zealand exporters, leading high-level business delegations to China nearly every year and building strong personal relationships at the highest level. During this time, the China-New Zealand FTA exceeded all expectations. Two-way trade has tripled to $23 billion, creating jobs and opportunities for both our countries. In November 2016, Mr Key's determination and commitment to build a mutually beneficial relationship culminated in the announcement that negotiations to upgrade the China-New Zealand FTA would soon begin, making New Zealand the first developed country in the world to announce an upgrade with China. Chinese President Xi recently acknowledged there was now unprecedented cooperation between our two nations, and a large part of this can be attributed to the concerted work of Mr Key. Pukeko Pictures is an independent entertainment production company founded by Sir Richard Taylor, Tanya Roger and Martin Bainton. And in 2015 we signed the first official co-production agreement between China and New Zealand to produce a children's TV show called Cadets. Richard has invested in Pukeko's relationships through local government, central government, universities and business relationships over 20 years and so our current business partners have been introduced to us through those networks. We also have the ability to take a real New Zealand Inc approach to the business that we're doing and you know we've been able to introduce a number of great New Zealand businesses that align with our brand values and hopefully create opportunities that other people can ride on our coattails a little bit. I see huge potential for uh, us in China. Um, the strength of the, the market and then building a really strategic partnership, the world's our oyster.